Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Tidbits, and today we're going to talk about the good old NES. Uh, one of the glaring things that people would love to have, obviously on the NES, who love to play their system, still play it this day, collecting games for it, homebrew games, regular games, is quite frankly a way to play wirelessly. That a viable modern option to play wireless controllers on the NES, that's what people would like. Well, analog known for the analog NT system which is more or less was just uh, original NES hardware in a new fancy system that allowed you to hook it up to your you know, HDTV, and 8BitDo have partnered up to create the Retro Receiver. Basically what this does is it simply allows you to plug in uh, and play wireless controllers on your NES that are made by 8BitDo. This is the big thing, 8BitDo controllers work. So the price this thing you're gonna ask when we get to what controllers work on this thing of theirs, is $19.99, which is a really good price for this. This is not insanely expensive. Like a lot of other things we've seen, this thing is out now, so you can, you know, order this. And, you know, looking at their page uh, on this very item, uh, to give an example of what it is, it basically all 8-bit dual controllers and arcade sticks uh, basically include PS3 controllers, PS4 controllers, Wii and Wii U Pro controllers, made again by 8-bit Do. Let's get this straight. Not everyone, just their controllers with this device work on the original NES, the Analog NT, and all systems with NES style compatible ports. So this works on all those. Now the added bonus, by the way, to getting these 8-bit do controllers, if you want to, again, if you don't have an 8-bit do controller, you will get one, you're going to have to get one to get this to work. So yes, 20 bucks for the receiver, and then whatever the controller is going to cost you if you don't have one. But the advantage of getting an 8-bit 2 controller is it also works on, uh, it's also compatible with Mac, PC, iOS, Android. So it's not like you're getting a controller that isn't compatible to other things you might already use. Again, that is a bonus. So for those who are interested in getting a wireless kind of hookup to their old NES, this is a cool option. And of course, also the Super Nintendo uh, uh, controllers also work on this also. Uh, one of the other added bonuses, this thing also has uh, Bluetooth, so it can like sync up to your joypad of choice. And with the Bluetooth, obviously dongle, you can uh, like automatically configure additional like control buttons to like auto fire versions of A and B or stuff like that. So there are again things you could do with this, kind of cheats in a sense for those who consider it cheats. Uh, the fact this also enables Bluetooth. So what do you guys think of this? Again, I think this is really cool. For people who are looking for wireless and have an 8-bit do controller or who's someone who wants wireless and they want to spend $19.99 on obviously the retro receiver and one of these 8-bit do controllers to play it. Again, some aren't going to be incredibly expensive. I'm sure some are going to be, the arcade sticks probably aren't going to be cheap. But this is an option for people who have an NES who want to play wirelessly, who want to play on the original console. Again, this is cool because there's no modification to your console needed at all. The price is relatively cheap. There you go. That's what it is. It's available for people who want it. It's it's one of those things where, you know, if you want it, there you go. Uh, again, I think it's really cool. I think uh, if I want to play wirelessly, this is definitely would definitely be an option. So what do you guys think? Would you be interested in this? Or are you not interested at all because, you know what, you don't have an 8-bit do controller and you don't want to have to buy one in this for plus plus ninety nine for this? Or are you all in because, you know what, I have an NES, I want to play wirelessly, I don't want to play with a cord. Because, to be honest, if you play any modern console, you're probably used to playing wirelessly these days. Uh, and why, let's be honest, the NES controller is not incredibly limiting. It's just if you happen to have, let's say, your couch or whatever, is a decent, decent, you know, distance, distance away. It might just be just a hair too short, right, if you want to have it in the entertainment system or wherever and you don't want to have to pull it out on a stool or something in order to make the controller reach this might be a viable option anyway guys enough talking for me for now love to hear your guys opinions like always and i'll make another video soon later guys